Hey guys, this is How to Shop Clean at the Drugstore, Target edition. Okay, so Target is by far the easiest place to shop for natural or low toxin types of things as far as beauty and skin and body care. So let's just dive in. Number one resource when you go uh, shopping at the drugstore is an app. And here is a picture of it, of what it looks like. And uh, I would equate it to the natural version of the Amazon app, you know, where you can just like scan the barcode and it'll tell you if it's cheaper on Amazon. You can just scan a product and see, and it'll tell you, you know, what the um, toxin rating is and what ingredients in there are questionable. And you can kind of make the decision right there on the spot. I am so fabulous. It's so fabulous that they came out with this app. I can't even tell you, it's so wonderful. Um, they are kind of slow to pick up new products just because there's so much on the market coming out all the time So you kind of have to like, you know If you want to do the work if you're really interested in a new product You kind of have to put in each ingredient and you can't do that on the app You have to do that on the website. So that's kind of a bummer, but the app is great for products so You can just go in and scan and pick something out Let's start with body care and then we'll move on to makeup shall we? So most of the natural good uh, body care at Target is going to be in the natural beauty aisle. And there are several things there that are um, pretty decent. And there are several things that are like, why is this even in this aisle? So first of all, on the far left, like the whole, one of the whole bays is probably going to be Burt's Bees. Now, Burt's is kind of a mixed bag. If you did not know, they're made by Clorox. So they're pretty much like Clorox, you know, trying to get into the green, green lifestyle market, the niche market there and, you know, capitalize on that. And Whole Foods carries them, you know, like a lot of uh, the solid health food stores carry them. So, you know, it's doing the job for them. But um, most of their lip products are going to be low toxin. Uh, if you want to know what that means, you can um, I'll link below my natural standards video where I talk about what that means for me. But um, most of their lip products are going to be pretty good. They're like uh, Mommy Tummy Solve and the Healing Solve and one of the lotions is good. And the rest of it is going to be moderate to high toxin, which is pretty sad. So steer clear of most of their body care. And then there's the Shea Moisture range. Here's some pictures of that. And um, again, most of their products are going to be low toxin. Um, a lot of their lotions are completely clean. And um, some of their hair care, like the elixirs and the, you know, kind of one-off products. I don't know if they have a hairspray, but if they do, it's probably not so hot. So um, be careful of those. And then there is the good with a little funny umlaut looking thing over the U. And Good is actually made by Burt's Bees. And not a single one of their products uh, gets the green light from the Environmental Working Group. So none of them are low toxin, that's fabulous. And um, let's see what else is in that area. Alba Botanics. Okay, so they are also a mixed bag. It just depends on what you pick out. The CC cream that they recently came out with has talc in it and a couple of other ingredients that aren't so fabulous. Um, a lot of their skincare has artificial fragrance in it because it smells so nice and yummy and coconutty or whatever it is. It's not from coconut oil, probably. It's from fragrance. So if you're sensitive to fragrance, steer clear of those. Uh, they make some face wipes, of course, that um, are going to have a preservative in them. And odds are it's the same preservative as um, baby wipes. So uh, yeah, just, you know, that's your decision. Nourish Organics, or no, I think it's just called Nourish, <clears throat> is a new line that Target has started carrying. I don't think it's new, it's just new to Target. And it's fabulous. I can't wait to pick up some of their products when I run out of what I'm currently using. They look great. They only have two or three products, I think, right now, lotions and body washes, but they look wonderful. Here's a picture of those. Target also carries Dr. Bronner's. It's normally on the bottom because those bottles are so blasted huge. Um, but those are great. A lot of the, just in general, beauty gurus use Dr. Bronner's to wash their makeup brushes with. So it's that effective and gentle. You can literally, you know, do anything with it. Um, sometimes they'll also carry the African black soap, which is really good for you. Uh, so yeah. J.R. Watkins is normally carried at Target in the natural beauty section and um, I think they just have like a scrub and a lotion or no two scrubs is what I have a picture of I'll show them here 
but they are wonderful. They have great ingredients in them. Pacifica is normally in the natural beauty aisle at Target and almost all of their stuff is going to be solid. They have great lotions. They have nice like rollerball kind of like perfumes. I hesitate to call them a perfume because they do not have much lasting power and they uh, don't have a very strong essence to them either. So it's more like an essential oil that you can just like roll on and feel refreshed, really like their blood orange. A lot of people really like their blood orange. Their Persian rose is really nice too. And they recently came out with a makeup range. Um, I actually used some of their eyeshadows in my fancy get ready with me that I will link below. But um, they have some blushes. They have like a BBCC type product that I have yet to see on the shelves. Um, their lip glosses are supposed to be fantastic and they have um, good like lip tints as well. So yeah, Pacifica is also uh, in that section definitely something to check out. And their packaging is just flawless. So that's nice. A natural company that has good packaging. Yeah, novel, right? The other huge display in the natural beauty aisle is Yes to Carrots. So, or Yes to, the Yes to line. There's Yes to Carrots, Yes to Tomatoes, Yes to uh, Pomegranates. I don't even know. There's lots of blueberries. There it is. Something with antioxidants is all I can remember. <laughs> Um, and you know, some of their products are pretty decent. I used to use the, uh, Yes to Carrots eye makeup remover. It was really gentle and it was more of like a lotion consistency rather than like a water or oil. But again, not everything is going to be excellent. And so you just kind of have to, um, pick and choose or just avoid it altogether and go with something that you know is going to be an easy decision like the Shea Moisture line or, um, uh, they also carry Avalon Organics or Jason. Those are good uh, brands to stick to as well. And then in a separate section, the Boots section, Boots actually has a botanical line. It's called Boots Botanics. And um, some of the stuff in there is pretty good too. They have some facial scrubs and moisturizers and those such things. And then they carry some makeup in the Botanics line as well. I think most of their um, glosses and lipsticks are going to be low toxin. And um, some of their eyeshadows are hypoallergenic. So uh, I haven't looked them up, but I have tried them and I did kind of react to them. So that's something to you know keep in mind and steer clear of. The EOS uh, balms, you know what I'm talking about? These guys. These are great. They have them in several different flavors and depending on what flavor you get, you'll get a different um, toxi toxicity level, which is pretty funny. But this is the mint one and it just looks a little bit, uh, I don't know, quasi inappropriate but not interesting looking shape. My toddler actually got his hands on my last one of this and it was pretty funny what happened to it. So yes, these are great when it comes to lip products and normally they have like a whole little end cap thing because they're very popular. Sometimes they'll have like a little three set, which is really fun. So those are great for lip products. Now we're moving on to makeup. This is a little bit more complicated at the drugstore because um, there aren't many lines that tout organic ingredients well, right? Like, so they'll be greenwashed or um, greenwashed meaning like they'll say they're organic and they have like one ingredient in them that's organic, that doesn't count. So it's a little bit more complicated. So uh, for me, shopping makeup at the drugstore is kind of like, you know, you're just trying to find something low toxin. You're not gonna find something that's straight up minerals most of the time. Now, the one exception to being able to find straight up minerals at the drugstore is going to be e.l.f., which is surprising because it may be the, the cheapest thing next to Wet n Wild, um, but e.l.f. actually carries some mineral pigments. Now, it's important that you find the e.l.f. mineral line. They have some mineral lipsticks that are good. They have some mineral eyeshadows that are good. I think they even have like a mineral uh, veil or like a setting powder or something like that that is good, but it needs to be mineral. It needs to be mineral. They also have really good uh, cheap brushes, so that's something to look into with e.l.f. as well. So the rest of makeup is kind of just uh, research, and this is why I'm sharing this with y'all because I've done so much research, you know, it's like silly to not share my information. So the the Maybelline Age Rewind. The entire line is going to be low toxin. I think almost every product ranks a 2 or below on the Environmental Working Group database, which is excellent. I use the uh, Dark Circle Eraser. They also have a Dark Spot Eraser that I am a little interested in because I'm starting to some dark spots. 
and um, they have like a dream mousse type of foundation. They have liquid foundation, they have straight concealers, they have so much in the line. I'm looking at the picture right now. So here's a picture of the display at Target. <clears throat> so for foundation, I would go with Maybelline. If you didn't realize this, Maybelline and L'Oreal are made by L'Oreal, um, and L'Oreal makes Lancome, which my mom has used Lancome products for years, and she has phenomenal looking skin. So Lancome is doing something right. Um, so yes, a lot of the products that you see are kind of like, you know, lower end dupes of Lancome products. And I feel like something else too, but I can't remember. When it comes to concealers, uh, I would try to stick with something in a solid stick form. The more liquid concealers are going to need more preservatives in them. Um, I can't really give you a direct recommendation for one other than the Age Rewind uh, stuff. Those do have the preservative in them that I, once again, cannot pronounce. Really need to fix that. Sorry, guys. But um, that is that is the really the only harmful ingredient that I know of, well, I don't know if I can say that. It ranks a two on the Environmental Working Group database. So low toxin, again, is what we're talking about for those products. Sorry, I keep looking at my pictures. Um, for blush and bronzer, I would go with Physician's Formula. Here is a picture of their end cap at Target. I don't know why, but they always have end caps. At CVS, too, they have an end cap. It's just like how their display rolls. Most of their products are made without talc. They'll say talc free. It looks like a big deal and you're like, I don't understand why, you know. Uh, a lot, most face products that are at all powder based will have a significant amount of talc in them and talc is not good for you. So there you go. Uh, Physicians Formula, I use one of their bronzers. Um, I would love to get my hands on their matte bronzer, but I can never find it. And Physicians Formula, um, not necessarily at Target, but like at CVS and Walgreens, they have really good sales. They have like BOGOs and like 50% off with coupon in store. Like you just pick up the coupon at the front of the store. Um, mascara, for sure. I am wearing their pink, the fake out mascara today. Bad my eyelashes a little bit, are you? Um, I love their mascara. Um, I would... I don't really know about their like BB um, CC foundation type products. I would stick with the mineral stuff and they have a pretty good color range as well. They have a good color range for blushes and for bronzers as well. So for face products, I would stick with the Maybelline, Age Rewind and Physicians Formula. Physicians Formula is just not sexy. That's the unfortunate thing about them. And then for um, lip products, Revlon just came out with a new uh, color burst line. They're the balms. There's a matte balm and like a high shine balm. Here's some pictures of them. And these are such new products that they're not in the Environmental Working Group database yet. But um, I actually did a little bit of research and the only ingredient that ranks above a two is the very last one. It's the preservative. So I'm anxious to get my hands on these and try them. They look a lot to me like the um, Tarte uh, pencil lip products that I love. I'm wearing one right now. Um, they have a good matte range. They have a good high shine range. The L'Oreal one, as you can, uh, the Revlon one. As you can see, they um, have a good color selection and they're really reasonably priced. They're like $6.59 or something like that. So for lip products, um, that is a recommendation I can definitely make. There are so many, there are so many on the market that it's difficult to say, you know, use this and this and this when it comes to lip products. But that is a new one that's not in the database that I do um, think would be a good choice. And they're sexy. I mean, look at that packaging. That's just, that's fun. <laughs> that's fun. Um, for eye products, um, Al May makes some decent eyeshadows, but you once again have to be careful. And Physicians Formula has the like the bricks, you know what I'm talking about? It's like the longer kind of packaging with the stripes of different colors. Those are actually really well rated uh, on the Environmental Working Group database as well. And then when it comes to powders, like loose powders and setting powders, again, I would go with Physicians Formula. And let's see, what else do you need in a makeup routine? No drugstore primer is going to be good for you. I have tried. I have tried. My sweet son just sits in the cart eating his snack while I read the ingredients of like everything <laughs> in the aisle. 
but I have tried to find a good drugstore primer and the one that I have almost gone with just out of compromise is the um, Lumi, the Magic Lumi one because it gets such good reviews and they also have a brightening stick that does not have the ingredients listed on it. Um, you know what, let me look it up right now. Yeah, no, never mind. <laughs> Fours and fives, the L'Oreal primers, so don't do it. Um, and I did just check, every foundation that L'Oreal makes it is at least a four, which is the yellow zone, so just don't do L'Oreal foundations. Um, I don't know, that does not account for powders, that just accounts for foundations. But Maybelline, again, uh, the Dream Smooth or Dream Mousse line, the um, both the like in the pan form and the liquid form all get you know ones and twos so Maybelline is the place to go for foundation and they the Maybelline fit me pressed powder also gets a one from the environmental working group database so way to go Maybelline yay low toxin um, so the other uh, lines that Target carries, Pixie, nothing really there for me, um, which is unfortunate because it's so cute. It's such cute packaging, but that's sad. And um, NYX Cosmetics, they're so cheap. You can pick up a few things and see you know, how it works for you, but almost everything has a preservative in it. NYX is cruelty free, I will say, but um, that's really the only good thing about it and it's cheap. Wet n Wild, mm, don't do it. Um, uh, Imani, am I saying that correctly? Um, not so much. Sonia Kashuk is also cruelty free, but um, I don't really, I've heard really good things about the concealer, the one in the pan with the two different shades. Um, but again, it doesn't, doesn't really have the strongest ingredients. So I think just steer clear of Sonia Kashuk as well. And let's see, what else is there? Um, Maybelline makes a good eyeliner. I have yet to try it, but it gets like a one on the database and it's the um, A line. Hang on. Maybelline Define a Line Eyeliner and uh, I think most of the colors are well ranked as well. Sometimes the products vary by color, their ranking, which is pretty funny because then you know that it's the pigment that's throwing the ranking and not the actual rest of the product, which is interesting. Um, I wore Physicians Formula eyeliners for years, and they, they don't really have good lasting power. So I would say, steer clear of the pencils. I have not tried the liquids, but the pencils just transferred on me like in a blink of an eye, literally. <laughs> not to be punny. So yes, this was kind of all over the place, and I have not touched on uh, hair care. But that is beauty and makeup at Target, which is really the easiest place to shop for low toxin um, skincare and makeup. And again, low toxin to me means that um, it's ranked well in the database. It might have a couple of ingredients in it that uh, would not fit into a completely clean definition. Uh, clean would mean purely all plant extracts and pigments but at the same time they're definitely better than a lot most of the other things you could buy even in high-end stores um, they're gonna be cleaner and um, yeah so this is kind of rambly and kind of fried Ooh, I forgot my coffee thumbs up for my fishy dervis tumbler oh my gosh you guys my husband was in Florida and he saw an entire Tervis store. He took pictures of it for me. I'm not even kidding you. He said if they were open, I would have gone in and gotten one. <laughs> I'm a little obsessed. They're so great because they don't they don't sweat, so I don't have to worry about it on my furniture and it keeps my coffee cold all day because I'm a mom, so it takes me like five years to finish one cup of coffee. Which is why I sit in the first place. Anyway. I don't even know if I'm going to include this in the video because it's pretty funny. So recap because I was all over the place. Number one, download the Environmental Working Group app. It's called Skin Deep, EWG Skin Deep. It's what you need to search for. It's free. It's a great resource. You can just scan something and it'll tell you how terrible it is for you. Number two, when, you're, when it's uh, down to face products, stick with Maybelline. Number three, um, I don't know. Do I have a number three? Steer clear of Burt's Bees, unless it's for lip products. <clears throat> number four, um, don't touch, I don't even know what number four is. What's number four? 
Number four, there aren't really good primers at the drugstore. It's unfortunate. Number five, to sum up, I guess, it's important to realize that when you're shopping for a natural or low toxin products, you might need to compromise on finish or ease of use or packaging or something like that. So that's kind of like, you know, your line. Like, am I going to be willing to use a foundation from Maybelline that doesn't have the finish of the YSL one that I use? You know what I mean? Not that you would jump from YSL to... Does why still even make foundation? Wow, I'm all over the place. You know what I'm saying. It's a decision um, you need to make just based on, you know, what you consider your natural standards to be, how clean you want your life to be. Um, but yeah, you might need to just sacrifice a little bit of um, how you're used to your makeup going on. Um, how it looks, how it stays, the lasting power a lot of times is um, not so hot on more natural products. Again, the Maybelline ones stay pretty well, but um, those are definitely more of a low toxin type category. Um, so yes, number five, just realize that you know you might need to, to mitigate your expectations when it comes to more natural products. I guess that's all. Thanks for sticking around for my ramblings. Um, next, I'm probably going to do Sephora and Ulta. Maybe I'll do them in the same one. I don't know. Uh, there's kind of a lot to cover there. So, thanks for watching. Bye.